Sculpt now supports true mono-to-mono -mono instances. Remember, there is no mid-side processing in mono, so the usual MS knobs are grayed out and non-functional. The Tone Sculpt algorithm has been greatly improved and optimized to work with all material, not just full range masters. When Tone Sculpt is used with heavily amplitude modulated material, for example, some snares or hi-hats, the material can intermodulate with low frequencies in the bass or kick and cause distortion. In these situations, setting the new smoothing parameter to values above zero eliminates this distortion completely. This makes the process slightly less transparent, so only use when necessary. Smoothing defaults to 50%, so we recommend lowering the value gently until you start hearing artifacts, and then dial it back so you don't hear them. If smoothing can be set to zero without any artifacts, then this is the ideal setting. A new option in the performance menu allows you to switch to and from precision meter mode. The range controls and metering of individual modules and the master are reduced to plus or minus 6 dB. This is intended for detailed work such as mastering where fine control and metering of each gain stage is required. In precision mode, a range control can still be set to a value higher than is visible on screen. In this case, it will be shown with a little red tint at the top and bottom to show that the real value is actually greater than can be seen. These red markers are just an FYI, so you can click on them and they will disappear. To recap, if you move back and forth between precision and full range meters, the audio is unaffected. Sculpt can still be making gain changes greater than 6 dB. Precision mode just zooms in on the meter for better resolution and restricts the range parameter of each module for greater control. The RMS meter can be offset and zoomed to your ideal resolution and range. To do this, you drag on the annotations to the left side of the meter, drag up and down to move the range, and drag left and right to zoom in and out. We've improved the visibility for the history graph. Now when you need to see the entire graph, just move the mouse away from the panel and the module controls will be hidden. Remember, you can also offset and zoom the scale just like the output meter. Drag up and down to move the range and drag left and right to zoom in and out. There are seven new themes accessible from the system menu. Choose from Black Velvet, Easy, Grape Soda, Flat Scandy, Dusk, Warm Modern. Sculpt is Apple Silicon compatible with native plugins for M1 and M2 machines. The AAX works with the silicon build of Pro Tools. Various other bug fixes and performance boosters, including the FL Studio latency rendering bug. You can download Sculpt version 1.2 using the Plugin Alliance Installation Manager and start enjoying all the new features today. From everyone at Adapter Audio, thanks for watching and happy mixing.